Aunt Zena, Warthog Princess, and this video is another Vera Bradley haul. Um, this one is from the Bright Friday sale, which was 30% off, and I had a couple coupons, so I got some extra deals, which is great. Um, first, also, before we get into the haul, I wanted to mention Vera Bradley's holiday sale is going on right now, the 12th to the 15th of December. Most everything is 30% off. Um, and it does stack with the retired items, which are also 30% off. So if you're looking for something that's not a brand new pattern, you can get the retired stuff for 30% plus 30%. Plus if you have Vera Bucks, you can use those as well. So use them or you lose them. The Vera Bucks expire at the end of this sale anyways. So it's up to you. But first item I got is the pencil pouch in Moonlight Garden. This is actually a canvas material. It's a nice pencil pouch. I didn't like them at first and I hadn't seen them in person. I just had looked at the pictures because I didn't understand why I have the front pocket. But now that I've had one and used it, I can think of a lot of different things to use that for. Um, for me, I put some pens and pencils in the main pouch and then I put like some, um, the paper corrector, you know, and some paper tabs, some things like that, or eraser in the front pocket so you can keep things separate. Anyway, you can do what you want with it. That's just how I was using it. And I just leave it sitting on my table because I use it all the time um, just for daily stuff. But anyway, I got this Moonlight Garden one to fit in my Moonlight Garden binder that I already had. But before I show you that, when my order came, they accidentally sent two. So after confirming that I had only ordered one, I called up customer service at Vera Bradley and they said, well, thanks for being honest, just keep it. So yay, I got a free gift. Hey, that's nice. I was not expecting that either way, but so nice little gift. That's why it's still in the wrapper. But one side note, they are identical pattern placement. I didn't know that, I wouldn't have known that, but here it is, side by side, front and back is same, same. So that's good to know if you happen to like that pattern placement. And now I have a gift for my niece, um, so that's cool. Um, these are those awful metal zippers, which is one of the reasons I avoided them at first, but they work okay. The inside, is a nylon, just slick. It's not quilted or anything. These are a canvas material, so it is a little bit different. Um, it does have the Vera Bradley on a faux leather tab right there, and it goes into the binder on these three rings. So if you'll notice, this is kind of the regular Moonlight Garden coloration, except sort of subdued, like not as vivid. And then the binder actually was a different coloration of it, but it still matches. So this binder I already had, but We'll put this in here and that's where I'll store it till I go to use it since I don't need it right now. Oops, I just put it in backwards. Let's put it in correctly. Sorry about that. Okay, I could tell you one thing right now that I don't like is if you don't get that thing right on the thing, on the ring, it it like catches, it's gonna fray that string. Anyway, I didn't, didn't mean to do that, but there you go. So it fits in on the rings. You'll notice that on a regular three ring binder, it's a bit of a stretch on the ends to get there. It fits fine, but just be aware. I mean, I think that gives it a little bit more range with smaller binders as well, perhaps. Um, also in here, I have the clear pouch from the planner bonus pack. That's okay. I mean, I don't, nobody needs that much stuff in their binder, but that's what I have it for storage at the moment. All right, next item. Shout out to the ladies at the Mayfair Mall in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. That's my store, my store, the one that I call for my orders all the time. And my birthday was in December. So they sent me a little birthday gift and that was so sweet. A uh, little coin purse in the Deep Night Paisley. So I got some purples and blues. And if you're not familiar with the coin purse, I don't know if we have a scent thing in there. Um, but the inside is a pretty purple Paisleys for the pattern. And the coin purse has one big slip and then it has a little elastic in the back side. So if you like wanted to put a chapstick or a lipstick or something, it'll stand up down this side. Anyway, the coin purses are great. You can use them for so many different things. And there you go. Um, next item I got is the accordion wristlet in Bramble. I really love the purples and blues. So Bramble's perfect. Um, this particular pattern placement is pretty good. Um, some of these wallets, if you haven't seen them in person, sometimes based on like, okay, this side's more spaced and this is a big flower. Actually, that's a really nice mix. Um, but sometimes it makes 
an optical illusion that makes this stripe look like it's off to one side. And this one is pretty balanced, so that works out well um, on both sides. So anyways, really, really good pattern and I like it. The accordion wristlet has a removable strap and then also is a fairly thin wallet. So this is the kind of wallet I would use if I was using a hipster, but I didn't want to go really small wallet, but this will hold everything, including your phone. Oh, there's another thing. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of slots in here. I've done a review on these previously. We can talk much more about it another time, but um, definitely one of my favorite wallet types. So they hold a lot. All right, next item. This was a free with purchase. I think you had to spend 125 to get it. Um, so that's okay, I was spending that anyway. But So this is the front zip wristlet, so named because of the front zip. Again, this is that yucky metal zipper, but hey, it was free. So the strap is not removable, but there it is. And it zips kind of just around the corner. It doesn't go all the way. And inside, again, you have straps and, or I'm sorry, slots on both sides. You have a big slot. And there you go. So that is in Butterfly Flutter. And you see all the different colors in that. So that's cool. Different style. You can use it as a wallet, a wristlet, or whatever. The next item I got is the Mini Glenna in Foxwood. And I just thought this was such a cute little bag. I love the Glennas. Um, I do tend to carry a bigger purse in general, but not always. So I like to have that smaller option every now and then. This one has um, faux leather backing on the straps. That's fine. It does give it a different look. Hi Kelly, come in. Nope, I guess not. Okay, just checking in. You wanna come on this side then? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Silly puppy. Hi, what are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Okay, go on. All right, so back to the Foxwood. So it is just like the Big Lena. It has the pockets on the front and the back. Both of them pretty large. You could easily put your phone. My Success Plus fits right in there. It does stick out just a little bit, but it's plenty secure. And for me, easy access. I like that a lot. Um, it does not have like the regular Glenna's. It has that secret pocket or secret hidden pocket on the side here. This does not have that. It does have the side um, cinches, and then inside it's pretty much the same. It's a zipper closure. It has two. These things are everywhere. Um, two slips on the front and a zipper on the back. So just like the regular one, and it also has a removable, adjustable crossbody or longer shoulder straps. So you do have some options there. I think it fits okay on your shoulder. Um, for me, I probably would use it more as a crossbody bag personally, but anyway, we'll see. Um, other thing, I look for the critters on the Foxwood and I got a big chipmunk right here on the front, which is nice. On the back, I also have a chipmunk here but then there's a fox right on the edge. So he is intact, but he kind of bends around the thing. I don't see, well, there's a rabbit on the bottom. I don't see any other ones. So at least I got some critters and I got some purple in there. So I like it. All right, undated planners. This one is in Lavender Meadow. These are 12 months of calendars that you pick when to start and when to end. Um, they're the month view and then they have the weekly stuff behind it in between. These are great. I have all four patterns that they came out with. There was Lavender Meadow, Daisy Dot Paisley, uh, Pretty Posies, and Fireworks Paisley. So I had originally bought one of each, so I had four. And then I realized that if I take the spiral off and I punch holes, I can use it with my Sycamore Leather Agenda cover from Vera, which didn't ever come with refills. So anyways, I decided to invest in some more of these, so I bought all the patterns they had left. So I now have three of each of Lavender Meadow, Daisy Dot Paisley, and Pretty Posies, and just the one Fireworks Paisley, but I'm well stocked now for years to come until that agenda wears out, and then whatever's left, great. Um, but I like the style of planners. Next item, 
Um, if you've seen my previous posts or videos about Petite Garden, I really, really like that pattern. I'm not a super pinky kind of girl, but it's kind of got like pinky purple look to it. And it's just different. The material is, I don't know, it's not heavier. It just feels different. I like the feel of it. It's, it's just cotton. It's in the VBU line, but I pretty much have everything now in the pattern because the only thing I didn't buy up till now, now that I have the duffel, is the large cosmetic, which has the clear part on the top, which I just ordered last night, so it's coming. Um, even the calendar, I have everything except one thing. I can't remember what it is. Anyway, we'll talk more about it when the other cosmetic comes, but this is the large duffel, and you can see a couple things different about the VBU line. Um, one is they had these nice zippers. This is not that awful metal zipper. This was the first we saw these nice ones that are now standard on all the bags going forward, starting with the Performance Twill and then also now coming out on cotton. So really nice and smooth, great zippers. The zipper pulls are a faux leather. They're ribbon style, but they're a faux leather. And the strap is like a canvas strap and it has the piping on it on both sides, which is a nice little touch. So it just kind of adds a touch of class to it. That's what I think anyways. Also, the Vera Bradley label is a faux leather tab on them. So it's embossed in silver metallic, stamped in there. All right, there also is no trim on this as far as like a coordinating trim pattern, but it does have on the outer edges, it has this piping that goes around. All right, let's look at the whole bag that expanded. It was all folded up. So on the front, you have one zipper pocket. You have on the ends a big slip, and it's only on one end. And then you can see that piping goes around the ends on both ends. I don't know, that's fine. Okay, inside the bag, nice smooth zipper. It is not quilted, which I find disappointing. On these bags, I like the quilted interior. Because it's already a slouchy bag, now you got a slouchy interior. I don't know, I just like it better. It just seems unfinished or cheaper not to be. But VBU does not have an interior pattern, it's just the gray, which some of the opposite of this has the gray on the outside and then the pattern on the inside. Whatever. I like this one better. This bag does have a shoulder strap. It's padded, adjustable, and removable, and goes really well. It also is metal fittings. That's good. I do not like the plastic ones because they always break. Inside organization, it has, hold on, let me count. One, two. This one has three mesh pockets on one side, which would be the back side, like the zippers on the front. The front has none. So, anyway, that is the VBU large travel duffel. I just love the pattern. If you haven't really looked closely at it, there's actually, you know, those of you that like the mint flowers, for example, there's snails in it too. There's one right there. They're super cute. Anyway, I just fell in love with it. There you go. All right. It's a fun, very girly pattern. Um, next item is the Carson North South Tote. This is actually a little bit bigger than I expected. and. Mostly because I didn't look at the dimensions, I just thought it was slightly small. I'm happy with it being big. A couple things though, I really like the um, front pocket part right here. I like having the slip and then the pocket in front. And I got great pattern placement with that round thing centered right on that pocket. That was just lucky. Um, so that's cool. It is a magnetic snap and the inside is patterned but it's like nylon. It's not back to the cotton yet. And inside the pouch is just a straight pouch. So very nice, very generous pockets inside and out. Um, the straps themselves appear to be rolled, but they're not, not exactly. It's more like folded, if, you know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't have like an actual roll. It's kind of a lumpy straight, I don't know, it's kind of a strange mix. It's fine, I think that They'll stay on pretty well. The strap drop is great. You can hold it. You can do whatever with it. So it's easy. Um, this is a big enough bag where 
there's a chance you might load it down pretty heftily. Um, for that reason, it may be in the future a problem that they're only mounted here because that, that wear and tear on that bag, I mean, it's just cotton. It's going to eventually give way. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit leery about that, so I will definitely try and remember not to overload it. Um, for a bag this size, I would have thought they would have it all the way down so that it shares the load of the straps. Um, we'll see. I don't know. This is my first and only one of these, so I'm not sure how it will wear, but that Bramble pattern sure is pretty. So, all right, enough about that. The top is a metal zipper. Inside, you have a zipper pocket on the back, and on the front, you have two slips right there. So, pretty straightforward. It's a flat top, zip straight across, and uh, that's the zipper I love. And there you go, north south. They make the same style of bag, but um, they call it east west, so it's a little bit shorter. A little different, more like a Mandy, I think. All right, the last item I got was as part of the Bright Friday sale, if you spent, I don't know what it was, $75, you could also get a blanket for 20. It's another Berry Mary throw. There's like six of them, they're all different. Um, they all have the same name though, but this one is the plush throw blanket Berry Mary, and this is the one that had like the family on it. So let's look at this. Before I even open it, actually, it is super duper soft. Very, very standard, um, maybe softer than some of the ones I've gotten recently, but it is also very, very thin. It's thin like the outlet style ones that are very thin. And the retail price is $55. Mm, yeah, thank God I didn't pay that. I paid 20 bucks for it and even that. And, well, I bought this for the, the picture, not for the plushness, but even so, I think it should be a little plusher. It just seems really, anyway, I don't know. I like the uh, little bit thicker, but it is super soft and super cute. Let's see this pattern. All right, it is front and back, same, same. All right, here you go. I know I'm not tall, but you have the bear and the little bears, little, little bears and the red ribbon. And more critters in the corners. You got a little fox. And I can't see upside down. Looks like a rabbit. Yeah. So, is there some in the upper corners? We have a bird, a dove maybe. And wait, what am I talking about? Another rabbit, so there's two rabbits. Anyway, so that's that blanket. A little off balance, have a boot on my foot. Anyway, all right, that is the end of this haul. I hope that was helpful for you, just to get a quick look. There is more coming because I went a little crazy for my birthday coupon. So it was 30% off plus 30% off plus 25% off plus Vera Bucks. So that was worth waiting for. And happy birthday to all the December babies out there. And a Merry Christmas to all. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.